Welcome to A Week in My Life, the week in between Christmas and New Year's, first week of January. It's honestly all a blur. So I didn't leave my couch for two days, not much to share there. And then I forced myself to go to Starbucks. I sat outside. I went to Walgreens, did that annual, you know, I'm going to buy a bunch of notebooks and things to write my goals with for the new year. If you want a whole video on it, I would love to do that. Thanks for asking. No one asked. I also booked a cabin for a friend and I. I was like, you know, we're going to get away and just really set apart the year. This is her calling me, telling me that I accidentally booked for February. It's fine. I'm going to go to two cabins now, guys. We're fine. The next day, I went back to my house and I needed to get some work done. Had a lot of just random stuff that I need to do. So that's me doing it. Here's me uh, taking a nice bath. Also, how beautiful is that view, guys? I just absolutely love it. I also got a really good smoothie this day and I just still think about it all the time. Here's my book stack that just follows me everywhere I go. Here's Fitz being so cute as I work, like so, so cute. Then I get to working and I have a little rant, a little chat with you guys. So hi guys, I am back home to work for today, but I shared something on Instagram because I have just been seeing so many posts about the new year and what we've learned from 2020 and all of these things and i think it's incredible and i am an enneagram three like i'm very much so an overachiever i'm just naturally motivated i am always just like excited goals all that stuff just like really get me going but i think in a year like 2020 at the end of the year with all these things like i keep seeing like how you end this year is how you start the next and determines your next year and um, your true color show when like hard things happen and all that stuff and this is the first year that I've read that stuff and just been so hard on myself and it's not these people's faults for saying this this is how I'm wired I think the same way and I think that's incredible but at the same time when you're in a bad place or you've been dealing with really hard things it's really difficult to see that because I feel like when you're in a negative place it's really hard to take those things positively and I am just here to say, if you guys have had a hard year or you're going through a hard time and just because it's the end of the year and you're not like fully healed and fully like on it and so excited for the new year, there is nothing wrong with you. It is totally okay. We all go through really, really hard things. The past few months, I know I've said this so many times and my vlogs will become less depressing soon, I swear, but there has been so much going on. Sometimes life is just really unfair and it's really hard. Something I'm trying really hard to do is to just give myself grace. I am all for self-growth and becoming my best me and you know working through problems and all of this stuff like I'm so for that and I think it's so incredible and so important but I do totally understand how those post and how some of the things can come off a little bit demeaning especially in a year like this so i just want to say like there's nothing wrong with you if you right now don't really see that the light at the end of the tunnel or you're just in a really dark space just know i love you i see you i get it i know social media can be such a highlight reel like i think you guys have seen one bad thing that's happened in my life literally all year and that is like literally the easiest of the hard things that have happened i hope this resonates with just like one person i know it's really hard sometimes and life is unfair and the thing that really gets me through is i think back to the times where i have been in the darkest days losing a sibling losing a cousin depression anxiety everything that i've gone through i look back to those periods of time where i felt this way and i just look at how god brought me out of that, what came out of that season, the relationships that were strengthened, all the good things. Like That's like the beautiful thing about faith, I think, is that over time, you almost have these like markers in your faith to look back on and see whatever you believe. Um, just being able to look back and see like, oh, I was brought out of this, I was brought out of that, and just knowing that that's gonna happen again. But it's okay if you're in the thick of it and it comes a new year and you don't feel like you are on top of it. I, I think I am feeling a little bit more motivated and better now. But I think we just put a lot of pressure on ourselves. I say this because I put a lot of pressure on myself to be this like perfect person who reacts perfectly and doesn't do this and blah, blah, blah and whatever. And it's like, I just am learning now more than ever how important it is to give yourself grace because I don't feel like that's something I have done very well and I'm really trying to get better at it. So I just wanted to pop in here and say, if you are going through a hard time, do not let Instagram make you feel bad about that because it's life. Sometimes it happens. I love you guys. It will get better, and I know that's so annoying to hear, but it just, I know that it will get better. 
I think sometimes it gets a little bit worse before it gets better, which has been 2020. Like literally every month has progressively gotten a little bit worse, but there's a time for everything. That's something I tell myself all the time and it's okay. All I can do personally is cling to my faith and my loved ones around me and what I do have and be so unbelievably grateful for the life that I have. But it doesn't matter if you are Kylie Jenner. I mean, like death is going to hit you. There's things that you just can't avoid in life. Love you guys. Let's get back to the vlog. Do not feel bad if you do not feel like you are your best self right now. Think control the controllables. Do everything you can in your power to take care of yourself and the people around you. But if you are not feeling your absolute best when you're going through like the hardest time of your life, do not let Instagram make you feel bad for that. Love you guys. I am like at my peak coziness right now. I have my kombucha and my wine glass as always. Elevate everyday experiences. Speaking of, actually I want to talk about today's sponsor. To be honest, out of every single sponsorship I have done, I think this is the one that I'm the absolute most excited about. I recently got a Whistle Go Explore device. You guys know I'm a dog mom. I love being a dog mom. I have a seven pound Morky and I have a 51 pound Golden Doodle who is only seven months old and is still growing. I got a dog that was so big. I was just worried about making sure I was giving him enough exercise. So that's why I love Whistle. So it's a Whistle device on the collar and it connects to an app, which is right here. I'll show you guys up close. I've been using it for over a week now on Saturday. He wasn't wearing the collar and then we started using it later on on Monday. This was a busy day for him. It was Christmas Eve. He got 354 minutes of activity and all he needs is 97. So go fit, 8.4 miles distance, crazy. It shows the calories, it shows the rest. It even shows location, which is what I really love about this. I actually drove him to my mom's house and as soon as I parked, I got a notification saying, Fitz is 26 miles from home. I'm not gonna go down on the activity because I don't want you guys to see the location, but just know that it perfectly tracks walks. This is awesome because you have the receipts for your dog walkers, you know what I mean? Okay, so I obviously love the tracker, knowing where he is all the time. I love the activity thing, guys. Like when I say, I check this app more than I check Instagram, Gmail, and Twitter combined, I fully mean it. The other thing that's really cool is the health insights. So, and as you guys can see, it tracks drinking, scratching, licking, and sleeping. So his scratching has not been the best lately. He's going to the vet about this. But also, if I didn't know something was up, I'd be able to notice it on health insights, which is awesome. This is the ultimate health and location tracker for your dog, guys. I am so obsessed with this. It gives me peace of mind to know that I am giving him enough activity. Also, to know that I know where he is at all times and also for the health insights. I have already gotten pretty much everyone in my life that I know personally who has a dog to get this. I'm not just influencing on the internet for Whistle. I am influencing in my own personal life because that is how strongly I feel about this product. You guys can check it out at the link in the description, whistle.com. I have the Whistle Go Explore. Literally cannot recommend it to you guys enough. Thank you to Whistle Device for sponsoring today's video. I have also been having Horrible brain fog. Watch this, guys. Okay, sharing mini haul. I got this from H&M. It's pretty see-through, but I waited so long for it to arrive, so we're keeping it. Beautiful chocolate brown sweater. Incredible quality. Chocolate brown. We already know how I feel about it. It's just perfect. Chocolate brown tank top. I just realized I've already hauled this in a vlog. Okay, well, I have something else. I'll show you. I have a new set active set. It's very cute. I got a different sports bra than I normally get. This is my favorite stuff to work out in. So cute. It's like a hot pink color. Can you even see the color? Cute. Matching bottoms. Super cute, guys. Here are some new books I got. I've been getting so many new books. And then here I am cleaning the garage. And then here Fitz is ruining my shot. Thanks, dude. Anyways, here I am um, getting some of the stuff for the gym together. I'm really excited. I got this for Christmas. I cannot wait for this gym makeover. Here I am trying to put this together with a mini screwdriver. Like, what was I thinking? It did not work. Slowly gathering equipment. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I did get a punching bag. I'm not sure where that's gonna hang. One of these mats comes today. The next one comes in about a week. Hopefully I'll be able to get this chair out soon. That out. These need to go to another house of ours. We're keeping the couch here and the dresser because I still need it for guests. Guys, this print is like absolutely perfect for a gym. I'm dying over this. It was pouring and I was just feeling so tired. So I door dashed some Shake Shack. You guys can use my code below for $30 credit right now. It's kind of crazy. Got these probiotic sodas sent to me and then I reorganized my fridge yet again. It was also pouring. Here's me drying fits off. 
The next day, I decided that it was time to take the Christmas decor down. If you guys know me, I love Christmas. I decorate literally November 1st. This was New Year's Eve, and it was the earliest I've ever taken my stuff down. Also, you can never fit the tree back in the box. It is so annoying. Like, literally the worst part ever. Officially, no more Christmas tree. No more Christmas decor. It's heartbreaking. It's New Year's Eve, and this is definitely the earliest I've taken it down in my house. And, you know, I put it up on November 1st. But I am going to a cabin this weekend, and I just have a busy month ahead. So I went ahead and did it. Oh, guys literally makes me want to cry also my house feels so bare now it feels like it just moved in come on bud come on come on we got it oh. Oh. you're too big for me boy oh good boy Fitz thought it would be a fun idea to jump in a puddle that was really muddy. So he got a bath. He's actually really good in baths. He kind of likes them, I think. So it was a good spa night. I made some sweet potato fries. And then I got Kin Euphorics in the mail. I was influenced by an Instagram ad in my like mocktail lifestyle that I love. So I'm excited to try it. For New Year's Eve, I stayed in, spent half my night on Goodreads, the other half reading. So this is New Year's Day. I went to Neiman's and I was looking at a bag because I was getting myself a little grad present. So I was kind of between these two. I ended up going with the Prada one. I do love the Saint Laurent, but this was for graduation. I wasn't just like randomly waking up and getting a bag. Don't worry. But I'm really excited. Then we went to Italy, which I'm so excited. They're at North Park. Back from the mall. Also went to Home Goods. Shout out Juicy Couture. I always joke, but I literally came out of the room wearing a juicy tracksuit. And it's true. I needed more black color hangers. And they just happened to be juicy. How beautiful. Also got a new blanket. This is not big enough for the couch, but whenever I go to Home Goods and I find a blanket that I like, I pick it up because it's so cheap. I can just never have enough blankets. This was literally $17, that's so such a good deal. Grabbed another little dog bed for Coco because I just thought this was really cute. Matches really well, fits, that's not for you. I have my sister's dog here, I'm babysitting. Yeah, and I just thought it was really cute. I love the look of that. Yes, she has one there, but that will go to another room. She has to have a bed in every room, you know? And I just got more Tupperware. This is so exciting, I will show you soon. This is my grad present, that's why I originally went shopping today. I love this bag guys let's do a little sephora haul first and then we'll end off with that originally i went to sephora because i wanted to get purple shampoo and i needed a refill of my favorite hyaluronic acid this stuff is so good it's seven dollars i believe it's one of my holy grail products for skincare so i'll have all this linked below but i got this which i'm really excited for if you guys have used this let me know it's just well, this is just like blonde hair care, which is what I wanted. This is like a nighttime product. I don't know. I'm going to look up how to use it, but it looks cool. Got a refill on my Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which is my favorite product for lips. They didn't have the lipstick, so I didn't get that. But I got this Bite Beauty Crystal Cream Shimmer Lip Crayon. I liked the color and it was on sale. So just grab that. And this is also on sale. I liked the color. And so I picked it up to try it out. This was my reward. Last but not least. So exciting. So I graduated college like a week ago and I've been wanting this bag, but I wanted it in neutral and they didn't have it. I called Neiman's ahead of time to see if they had the color and they didn't, but I just wanted to go in and try it on, see to make sure that this is what I wanted. And then guys, found it in chocolate brown. Like I am actually crying at this bag. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's really popular, I know. I just am obsessed with the strap. I don't I don't even have a nice brown bag. I mean, that's not true, my Fendi, but like a chocolate brown, just true chocolate brown bag. It feels like you're not even wearing anything. I'm wearing it the wrong way because this is all my back, but whatever. Then if I wanted, I could just wear it for a night out with this strap. I am so happy with it. Anyways, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys hated the iPhone footage. I loved how Lauren filmed a recent vlog of hers. And honestly, it was like the only way possible I could have made a vlog work this week. And I feel like I personally really liked it. Let me know how you guys feel about this style of vlog every once in a while. I love you guys so much. It's currently New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. Hope you guys have the best year ever. Love you all. Comment down below requests that you guys have for January. Okay, bye.